Sam and I am going to try some soda. It's the um, Ramune soda. I don't know how to pronounce this. I've heard people say all sorts of pronunciations and I don't trust English speakers or Americans to pronounce anything ever, so I don't know. So I haven't done one of these videos in a while, uh, but it's, we're in the pandemic right now and so I don't care. Uh, so what flavors are we trying? We got grape, we got uh, lich li uh, lychee, see that's what I'm saying about like not caring. You know, in the past, I might have been like, let me film everything again because I messed up a word. But now I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I'm not cutting this out. We got uh, a melon and original, whatever that means. And a uh, peach, which as you can see is already open. And then there is also the um, strawberry. Can't talk. Strawberry flavor, which is the first one I ever had and it's empty. Um, so we're not reviewing that. I'm just showing you that I have the bottle. I also have some water to cleanse the palate in between um, beverages because we are professionals in here. So the first one we're judging is the peach one. I should let you know that all of these were acquired at Daiso. Um, I am not a big soda person at all. So I ignored these for years. And then someone told me there was a beverage in which you can put a marble inside. And I thought, well, I would like a marble in my beverage. We're gonna try the peach one, which disclaimer already opened, already tried it, but now I'm gonna tell you about it. Uh, the packaging kinda not my favorite thing. I'm gonna rate the packaging a zero out of 10 because you can't close it, which really sucks. Um, but the pebble, the pebble, the marble, the circle, the little glass thing, kind of serves as a way to close it. I'm not gonna test the physics, but it kind of, you know, it does not work actually. I thought it was gonna like block the, yeah, no, it doesn't. It smells very sweet with vague notes of peach. Um, I'm not good with identifying scents, but I feel like it's pretty clear that it's peach. Even if it wasn't labeled, I think I would be able to guess. Also, let's go over the nutritional facts. Um, it's a thousand percent sugar. So I'm not drinking all of these bottles. I would die if I tried, so. I carbonated on my face because I'm a, an idiot. Um, it's good. Let me try it again without getting, you know, that. It's good. I like this. I like this a lot. I had, I'm not, I'm not reviewing the strawberry one, but I've had the strawberry one before and I like the peach one better. Is the strawberry one you drink and then you're like, well, I've had enough. But with the peach, you're like, mm, I'm going to keep having it. I um, would pair this with um, nuggets and tater tots, which is what I paired it with earlier today. The next one we're going to try is the lychee one. It's closed right now. You can turn it upside down. By marble. And so you're going to use this device that comes with it to pop the marble inside. The marble enhances the fizzing. It looks like it does. I don't think that's how science works. This is not a proper cap. It just serves to push the marble inside. It does not serve to actually close the bottle. So you go, look at this. It goes, tss. ooh, the smell is beautiful. It smells like roses, actually. It doesn't, I'm not sure what lychee smells like, actually. But if I didn't have it, the label in front of me and I smelled it and I had to guess what flavor Ramonet this is. It would be roses. Given that I just opened it, the carbonation is at its maximum point. Mm, yeah. This is so good. This is the best. Oh my God. It's so good. It tastes like roses. This is so good. This is the superior one at this point. Yeah. What would I pair this with? Dark chocolate, I think. Yes. No explanation given, just dark chocolate. The next one is the grape one. Um, grape flavors, when they are artificial, they are a lot, I feel. Um, 
like if you've ever eaten a grape um it tastes very mild but anything you know any beverage or any even juice um or candy or anything that tries to be grape flavored is often insane and tastes like a thousand grapes are stepping on you and so i'm wondering if this will be like that Look at this mess that I'm gonna have to clean up. Ugh. Mm. Mm. Are you ready? Mm. It smells exactly like what I said, um, how grape candy and grape things tend to taste. It's gonna suck. Yeah, I don't like it. Ugh. Pair this with another beverage and don't drink this one. Next flavor. Melon. Oh, the marble. Look at this. Can you hear it? It's part of the fun. Bubble gum. Melon. The melon one smells like bubble gum. Let's see if it tastes like bubble gum. Yeah. It tastes like bubble gum, which I'm pretty sure is not what melon tastes like. So, this has caused some confusion. What would I pair this with? Steak? I don't know. And for the grand finale, we're going to try the original Ramune flavor. Alright, this one's not bubbling all over me. That's a good sign. I like it when my beverages behave. It smells vaguely lemony. It's... Uh, if you have had um, Bocari Sweat before, which is an ion, like uh, uh, like a Gatorade kind of drink, um, it smells like that. And if you have not had that, it smells vaguely sweet and citrusy. So, citric is their word. It tastes like carbonated Bocari Sweat. Which makes sense because I'm reading the ingredients right now and it says that lemon natural flavor is an ingredient. Natural flavor melon. Ingredient for the grape one. Natural flavor grape. Natural flavor peach. Natural flavor lychee. Ah, this one has high fructose corn syrup and elderberry color. An artificial flavor. This is the inferior one. Did they change the composition of their beverage in between batches? Or are they just lying now? Anyway, that's my review of these sodas. I would say it's lychee here at the top. Lychee, number one winner, gold medal. Then I'd say peach is a second, second best. I would say the original might be in the middle, you know, it's lemony, but it's not too sour. I think it's enjoyable. I would say the melon and the grape are both last place. I don't like these. I did not enjoy their experience. I would pair them with absolutely nothing except the garbage can. And then the strawberry one, it's been too long since I've had it, but I kept the packaging because I can do this. 